Hindsight 2021 for the third week of October. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off, America was abuzz last night for the season three premiere of the HBO hit drama Succession about a family-run media empire. But apparently all the rumblings were for actor Nicholas Braun, who plays Cousin Greg on the show. An online sex campsite has offered to sync up your vibrator so that whenever Cousin Greg talks, it triggers an earthquake wherever you've tucked it. That's sort of like hitting a 6.5 on the rectal scale. Of course, you have to watch the show live to feel those good vibrations. It doesn't work with TV on demand, which is kind of an antithesis to what masturbation is supposed to be, right? Plus, some cable companies and streamers broadcast on a satellite delay, which could wreak havoc. I mean, if the device is just five seconds off, you could find yourself rubbing one out to co-star Brian Cox instead. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Actually, we think that concept is just fabulous. All we need now are synced up VR headsets that induce a coma every time a god-awful Liberty Mutual commercial comes on. Now, if you are the aristocratic type and prefer to experience a refined sense of erotic pleasure but still love a good gimmick, there's a doozy in Vienna, Austria. The Albertina and Leopold Art Museums there are known for risque and explicit paintings by artists like Rubens, Sheila, and Klimt. They also feature their work on social media, or they used to. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok have all rejected some of these works as potentially pornographic in nature. Only fans to the rescue. The subscription-based service that specializes in living and heavy-breathing adult-only imagery is now displaying these uncensored works for your viewing pleasure. For what it's worth, going to these museums in person is not exactly a Norman Rockwell experience. This exhibit, from the Leopold, entitled Nude Men from 1800 to Today, included a tour in which museum attendees also had to be nude. And if you snuck your cell phone in with you, we don't want to know where you stashed it. But if it vibrates during the tour, it must be season three of Succession. That's a great way to catch COVID, by the way. But what do the doctors know? Back home, over two dozen lawsuits have been filed to force hospitals to treat COVID patients with ivermectin, a medicine approved only for deworming in people and horses and as yet not proven to help fight the coronavirus. The lawyer filing many of these suits, Ralph Lorigo, says that doctors, and I quote, are not gods just because they wear white jackets. No, Ralph, but they wear those white jackets because, <laughs> you know, they went to medical school for seven years. They might know just a bit more about the effectiveness of a drug than you a do. Word? But don't worry, keep talking crazy like that, and you'll be wearing a white jacket all your own before you know it. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Meanwhile, I'll just be relaxing here with my official cousin Greg Martini. Shaken, not stirred. And that's your news. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week with Fresh Hindsight.